Hello viewers, as you can see from the state of my facial hair, I haven't had much time of late for personal grooming. You may have also noticed I'm desperately clutching these bits of reclaimed wood and canned goods. And finally, some very astute viewers may have also clocked that we've chosen a snowy wilderness as our shoot location this week instead of our usual cozy studio. This is games that have been keeping us occupied, the long dark edition. <laughs> Developed and published by the good people at Hinterland and released on Steam Early Access back in September 2014 and Xbox in June 2015. Yes, we know it's been around for a while, but you try editing 1080p video footage on a PC made from scrap metal wolf intestines and beef jerky. Choose your playing area, character, and prepare for an electromagnetic storm to bring your plane crashing down somewhere in the Canadian wilderness. Just call me Ramirez, baby. The aim of the game is survival, but unlike Mr. Mears, to begin with you'll probably be lasting hours rather than days, as well as the constant sub-zero temperatures, dirty water, starvation and the local wildlife will all be vying for your attention. Yikes. Get past the first few days and a new horror dawns. What will you do when you finish the last tin of dog food? That's where the long dark really kicks in. Explore the beautiful world, craft and create weapons and traps to hunt and experience the constant fear that every time you head outside, you may never come back. Kinda like living in East London then. With five adjoining sandbox landscapes and a story mode in the pipeline, there's still a lot of life left in the long dark, though chances are you probably won't survive long enough to see it. Ah. 